All right, so uh, there have been some updates uh, to the PSP builds online, not not on the Play Store, but uh, there is a very important update I would consider important to PPSSPP. That dust off air. Is that dust or a scratch? That's a scratch. All right. So um, the uh, Update, it basically allows you to use per game settings. So basically, if you don't know what that means, is each individual game can have its own settings. So instead of having like a game that you have fought with the settings for quite some time, and then once you set your settings for that specific game, such as God of War, which happens to me a lot, um... Once I finally find settings that work for it, all of a sudden my other games don't work worth a crap. And they basically just are all buggy or just are choppy or whatever. Then that means that I either can't play this game and I have to delete it and just use a bunch of s settings that kind of get these to play. Or I have to just only use those settings and play that game. <laughs> but... Um, now you can fine-tune all your games to get the best possible performance from each individual game. Uh, you can just play around with it. You could look online and do a Google search. Uh, a lot of the settings uh, in Google are old, so you'll probably be able to get away with a lot more than, they, than you see online because the performance has gotten a lot better. So, But let's see if I can actually... Oh, let me connect the uh, controller. This is the IPEGA 9023. Uh, get asked that a lot, so I figured I'd just say it. Uh, so let's say I hold down the X button and it launches. <laughs> you can also long hold. Um, get exit to menu. You could do it in here too, but there's less settings you can configure. Try to see if I can get it to just... Okay. All right, let me just use my finger and use the touch screen. Okay. So there will be a <clears throat> a button that says it says something like create game config or something. And that basically creates a configuration file that will store all your game this specific game's settings. So when you go into this game settings, you can change anything you want and then once you boot up the game, it will launch with those settings but only that game. So, let me just go back. So, and that works with everything. You can <clears throat> you can change anything you want, really. The, the on-screen touch controls, you can change those too. You can change the size, you can change the positioning of them. So, you know, say if you have a game that uh, you're using the touch screen controls and it would benefit if, say, the L and R were both over here, because of the, the gameplay, um, you can move that over there for that specific game. Or if it would be better here and here, depending. Uh, so, not every game still works perfectly, but there's a, there, I've seen a huge improvement in the way games perform. Um, one game that I was having trouble playing it, I couldn't really play at all, was Wipeout Pulse. Now, it's not perfect. It does uh, experience some stuttering issues, a bit of lag, but for the most part, it's fairly playable, and I could not play this game before. The only thing I noticed is I had trouble with the third birthday, which always worked. I don't know if it's my settings or if the game truly got broken with updates, but it just automatically crashes. Um, used to be able to uncheck. Let me lower the volume here so you can hear me. Okay. You used to be able to uncheck the uh, multi-core, what is it, the multi-threaded processing option, and it would play fine. And if you selected it, you would be able to play for a little bit, then it would crash. But now it just, as soon as you start the game, it just automatically force closes. So I hope that can get fixed because <laughs> that game worked fine <laughs> and now it doesn't uh racing campaign here so 
So yeah. So I'll show you a little gameplay to show you how it, how it actually functions. It's not going to be easy the, with the way I'm positioned. So don't tell me to die because I suck. <laughs> Although, it, it's probably going to give you better performance with something like this. This is a time trial. So with a time trial, you, you don't have all these explosions and things going off. I noticed a big performance dip when, uh, when having explosions uh, and any kind of like firepower going off or whatever. You experience a really big dip in the uh, frame rate. So, let me actually... I'm going to go to a, uh, a race, an actual race, not um, not that. Okay, here we have a race, so I can show you what it's like when you try to race. You get some performance dips because of uh, explosions and things like that. And you have more, more uh, ships on, on the track and everything. Should probably just go into one of the mines. As if I could actually properly steer my ship. Hmm, that didn't that didn't trigger it, but it's so normally I think when the, the explosions are closer to you. A little bit of a dip there. It seems to have... it didn't seem terrible. Like I was able to play it fine and stuff, but it was just like these kind of dips in the frame rate. But well, it's quite good, especially the first time I played it, it could, it could barely move the ship, it was so slow. And everything was all glowing and white. <laughs> Anyways, that's that. I don't even know if I picked up anything because I had trouble seeing at the angle I'm at. So, um, what else, what else? Let's do God of War. Hell, why not? God of War, I have a save file for, and it works fairly well. Just hit load state. Okay. And here we have God of War. This is, uh... What is it? Not chain... Is it chain? No. Uh, Ghost of Sparta. There you go. And it works. It's fully playable. I had no real major issues. Is it the usual, um... The usual, uh, what's a face? A couple little frame dips, whatever, but. We can't them all. And then you get a little, there's some stuttering there and battles and. Now, of course, if I didn't have these per game settings, I couldn't play God of War and everything else because the settings I used for God of War would have fucked everything up and I would only be able to play God of War. And then if I change it back to the old settings, God of War would be too slow to play. So that's that's what's so good about this update. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to link that you to that update in the description. And yeah, that's cool. And you'll know, play that on your television. This plays it in native. I don't want to say native 1080p because it's it's over 1080p. It's uh, what is it, 1920 by 1200 or something? And then uh, you can play it on native 1080p 
on your television. Um, and if you have a 4K TV, I've, there are people that have actually been able to play their PSP games in 4K. So, that's all cool. And everything looks really good. Everything's clear and sharp, better looking than it is on the PSP original because of the higher resolution and all the fun stuff. And then you got a bigger screen. So, that's cool. No need to buy a PSP just to play PSP games. Yay. All right. So, thank you for watching.